Hey Davis students, this is Mr. Jones. I wanted to create a quick video to show you how to create a screen recording through Zoom. So if you want to create a video showing your project, maybe you have a website or you have a multimedia application, you know, whatever it is that you want to just show on your screen, uh, you can use Zoom to create a screen recording and put your voice over it, talking just like I am right now. Um, so first, what you're going to want to do is create a Zoom account if you don't already have one. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You just go to zoom.us and then you click on this orange button in the top right that says sign up. And you may need to get your parents help if you don't already have an account because it asks for some information. I'm sure they can help you with it. So once you have a Zoom account, you can go to this resource and download the Zoom client. This is the desktop app. It's for Windows and Mac. I'm currently using a Windows machine, so it may look a little bit different when you use your Zoom client, but it's very similar. Uh, so once you download the Zoom, Zoom client, then you open it up and you'll sign in, which I already did. See, I'm signed in right here. Um, and then I'm gonna start a Zoom session. So I click start. And it's gonna ask me if I wanna use my computer audio. I'll say yes. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have either a headset that has a microphone or in a really quiet room uh, with a, uh, not a lot of noise to make this video sound good with your voice. So once you um, once you open up a session, you're going to click the share screen and it gives you the option of either sharing the whole screen or you can share a specific browser window. So it depends on what you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and share this whole screen so that you can see what it does. And I highlight it and I click share and you see there's a green line around this whole screen that lets me know that Zoom is sharing the screen. So once this green line comes on, then I want to go into the record button. Now, when I hit record, it's recording everything that's happening on this screen and it's recording my voice. So this is where I would pull up the website or pull up the audio or video that I've created um, and talk about it and explain what I'm done with this project and all the different things that go along with the project. And then once I'm done, I would go back to this uh, more and I'm going to hit stop recording. So that stops the video and then I can stop the share and then end the session. And as soon as I end this session, it'll start processing the video. And that's what creates the video that then you'll want to upload to YouTube. So you see that it's converting it. it uh, depending on the size of the video that you made, it may take a few seconds or it may take a couple minutes. But just be patient. Uh, once it finishes processing, then it opens up the folder that uh, has your video in it. On my computer, I have it under my documents. There's a folder called Zoom, and then it generates a folder with the name and a date of the um, the date, the date and the time of when I recorded the video. So when I open this up, I have three videos. This first one is just the audio of my voice; it doesn't have any of the videos. You don't want that one. This playback dot three uh, m three u is pretty much just a shortcut to the video. You don't want to use this playback. One. You want to use the very last one that's maybe labeled, labeled differently. Mine's called Zoom underscore zero. Just make sure the last three letters are MP and the number four. Um, that'll be the right video. So you'll take this video, and then you open up YouTube and you upload it. And if you don't know how to do the upload to YouTube, I've actually created another video that you can watch that shows you how to upload your video to YouTube. And that's how we'll submit the video for the project. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.